Hey, our friends, today we're celebrating Read Across America. Yeah, and we're gonna do it by drawing. Yeah. <laughs> Parents, teachers, and adults, we also have an announcement that's perfect for Read Across America. We got our own book. Yeah! You can pre-order this today. Click the link below this video. We know that you and your creative kids are gonna really enjoy this book. We can't wait for you to get a copy. All right, you ready to draw? Yes. Now in this lesson, we're just drawing a generic character reading a book, but we also wanna challenge our art friends to change this lesson into their favorite character in their favorite book. Yes. Yeah, okay, let's start by drawing the book. We're gonna draw two lines right down the middle. This is for the binding of our book. That's actually, let me show you on, on this book, <laughs> on our book. This is this part right here on the very back of the book. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw the top and also the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the cover, we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming up to the left and also a diagonal line coming up to the right. And then on the left, let's draw, we're gonna draw a short line coming down, straight down. And we'll draw it coming straight down over here on the right. Okay, now let's draw the hand holding on to the book. Or it's a paw, I don't know what your favorite character is, if it's an animal or a person or a mythical creature. We're gonna draw an oval over here too. Then we're gonna draw the rest of the cover coming through the hand and coming down here. But I'm gonna stop so that we can draw a diagonal line connecting to the binding also. And we're gonna draw that same line over here. We want this side to match the other side. Oh, let's also draw a foot. We're gonna draw another oval shape right here. <laughs> this is a small character reading the book because the foot is just barely <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> oh, I drew this foot a little bit bigger than the left side. That's okay. We're practicing. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw the bottom of the cover and we're gonna draw a diagonal line, but we're gonna imagine it going behind the foot and then coming out the other side. So you can use your imagination to draw through the foot. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, coming through the foot and connecting. There's our book. Oh, ex just the cover. Yeah. Let's add pages. We're gonna draw one page coming like this, and then we're gonna connect into the middle of the binding. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And we could add more pages, but let's just leave it simple and add one page. We could also connect those over here so it looks like more pages. All right, now we're ready to draw our person or animal or whatever character. Creature. Creature, yeah. So let's draw the nose first. So maybe this is an animal, I don't know. And then we can draw the mouth. And this is really where you could change anything. You could add different details. Maybe your character has a beard or <laughs> fangs. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw one circle here on the left and another circle over here on the right. Oh, what if your character is a pirate? Ooh, maybe or a you, dragon. Oh, a dragon, that would be cool too. You could draw different eyes, maybe a patch. Okay, and then right here on the left, top left, I'm gonna add a smaller circle for the highlight. And then we can color in that big circle, but leave a little circle white. This part will speed up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now let's draw the top of our character's head. I'm gonna start here, we're gonna draw the cheek coming out. Then we're gonna come up over, and then, that's a really big head, and then, and then connect over here too. And I have a cheek on this side, but not on this side. That's okay. Maybe it's a pirate who only has one cheek. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, you have one leg, not a cheek. That would be weird well, if you only, only have one, have one eye and then one leg, and also one hand with a hook, and they only have one cheek. We did it, we finished drawing our little character. We should come up with a name for him. Jefferson. Jefferson. <laughs> Except we still need to do what? Color him. Yes, we need to color Jefferson. <laughs> this part will speed up, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Also take this time to add more details to change your character into your favorite person or thing in your favorite book. Yes. All right, let's speed things up. Okay. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Jefferson. <laughs> Sir Jefferson. <laughs> Sir Jefferson. I like the monocle and the top hat. I just left mine Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope our 
friends will take time to color their drawings and also change Jefferson into their favorite character. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Jefferson's in a real book. I don't think so either. <laughs> he might be. But if he is, I would want to read that book. Yeah, me too. We hope you had a lot of fun celebrating Read Across America. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Jefferson or your favorite character. And we also want to remind all the adults you can pre-order our book today. Click the link below this video and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.